Hello and welcome to my creative space. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Welcome to another DIY video. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join this creative squad. Today, I am back with some more spring DIYs, so let's get started. For this project, I'm taking this sign from Dollar Tree as well as some nautical rope. I will be using this Waverly paint in the color moss, two wooden sticks, and I'm also going to use some greenery. You pick whatever you like. Okay, now I'm going to take this sign and remove the ribbon slash bow that came with this. And we're going to pop the back off of this. This is supposed to be a stack of books, but we're going to totally transform this into something else. And it's going to be awesome. As you can see, now that we removed it, it looks like a box, which is great. Just what I needed. Now, I had these scraps of wood laying around, but you could totally recreate this with, I don't know, maybe jumbo popsicle sticks instead of this wooden pieces. Any Anything you you have on hand that you can use go ahead and use it and glue that glue that to the sides now using my drill i went and created two holes i should have done this before i glued the wooden pieces onto the box so do as i say not as i do do the holes and then glue them onto the box now as you can see i took my waverly paint and i mixed it with some white paint the reason for that is because i wasn't gonna have enough paint or i thought i wasn't gonna have enough paint to cover the whole box so i end up adding it to kind of make it last a little bit more you know but um i I gave this box a good coat of paint now this part is optional but once my box was dried i did uh, use my cricut machine and cut the word bloom on some vinyl and i added it to what is going to be the front of my box but you could definitely use stickers or if you have pretty writing you could definitely write it down that is not my case so i decided to go ahead and use my cricut machine for this part now I'm going to take my nautical rope and I'm going to run it through the holes and I will be creating a knot on the end and this is a very easy simple step once that is done I'll just trim you know whatever I'm not gonna need and do the exact same thing on the other side creative squad if you don't have a drill just know that you could glue another piece to the top of this and that could be your handle you could even um you know use the same nautical rope just wrap it around instead of you know running it through the holes like i did you know those are only a couple ideas but i'm sure that you could definitely recreate this with things you have at home now uh going back to this uh diy i just added the floral foam some spanish moss and now i'm just going to add some greenery all the greenery i use is from dollar tree and it's actually some of my favorite greenery so just have fun decorate it and then now that that is done that completes this project and yes you know it now is the time to show you the end result look at this cute basket i absolutely love how this basket turned out let me know in the comments down below if you love it as much as i do as well and if you are not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing because your support means a lot and you will be helping my channel a lot thank you so much for watching let's go to the next diy for our next DIY, I finally found the wooden rounds from Dollar Tree. So we're going to use it as well as the word hello. I'm going to need some greenery, some ribbon. I'm also going to use the stain. You can find a color down below. And the same green paint we used in the past project. Now, I started and I was like, I'm going to find the middle of this circle. And then I was like, wait, I haven't removed what I'm not going to use. So we're going to do that now. I removed the tag and the hanger. We're going to need it later so you might want to save it next i'm going to take some tape and where we created a line i'm going to place the tape on one side you know pick your side i decided to uh, do the bottom um, or i guess stain the bottom so i put the tape at the top to cover that where we're not gonna need to paint and honestly i was really surprised at how well this clear tape worked because i don't have painter's tape and i was like this is gonna be a hot mess but it actually works so yay okay now we're gonna do the exact same thing but on the opposite side we're gonna put the tape where we stain and we're gonna paint the top 
And now we're ready to start painting. Um, again, I'm using the exact same color I used in my uh, first DIY. And uh, any information on paint or tools, um, it's usually in my description box. Sometimes I do forget to include things. So if I'm ever missing anything and you really want to know, just reach out to me in my comments. And I will definitely try to get to you and respond. And um, now that that is done, we're going to let it dry. Here is... Um, the uh wooden round and look how cool that that looks i didn't think it was gonna work out the way it did but i'm really really happy okay anyway now i'm gonna place the word hello on there it's not glued um i also used some vinyl uh to cut the word spring and remember you can use stickers or you can even write it on there if you have pretty writing and once that is done i'm just going to place it there i am so sorry for my camera camera moving um you know your girl is in a budget and you know we work with what we have and we don't have the most sturdy table so bear with me you know just hang in there we're gonna get through it and it's gonna be great okay now that that is done the word hello is still not glue so don't worry about that i will show you that I have it because I didn't know exactly where I wanted to place it yet. And I wanted to make sure everything was going to work out the way I was planning. Uh, but anyway, so I take the greenery. And as you can see, I do three uh of the little lavenders on each side now the bow i already made it i didn't want to show you again because it's the exact same way i use um to create my bows my technique is the exact same thing and i'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me create the bow and if you do let me know i can do a separate tutorial showing you how i do my bows but yeah my technique has not changed and then once i tied all of that with a zip tie i'm going to cover the zip tie with an extra piece of ribbon and the burlap ribbon is is from dollar tree that other lace one um somebody gave it to me um it's like it looks like it comes in like a tool roll and it's really really pretty i have no idea where they got it from but i absolutely love it once that is done i am going to add the hanger to this again so if you saved your twine go ahead and attach it to it and you know cut it as short or as long as you want it and we're gonna create a knot in the back to make sure that it stays in place here's what it looks like once that is done now i was brave enough to go ahead and glue down the word hello and as you can see i'm playing around with it trying to see exactly where everything's gonna sit so i can make sure it's going to work out and then we're gonna add some hot glue to the word hello and i didn't do anything with this but you're more than welcome to color it if you want to i didn't because i absolutely love the way this looks the way it is and then now we're just gonna place the bow on top of it and guess what that is all for this project how cool is that now here is the the end result i have to say this one and the first one were absolutely my favorite diys if these are your favorite diys let me know in the comments down below and please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and if you are already subscribed thank you so much it helps my channel a lot for the next project, I am going to use this glass vase as well as some baking soda, some white and black paint. I'm also going to need some greenery, some floral foam, and I'm also going to be using this laser cutout birds from Dollar Tree okay first things first as you can see i show you white and black because i'm going to be mixing both of these colors to create a gray color now if you have gray you don't have to do this but i wanted to show you what i did with mine now i'm gonna take the birds and i'm going to go ahead and glue them onto the glass vase now i did have some technical difficulties in this project as you can see that one that down there that is already glue was coming off and I decided to make it a little bit thinner. So what I ended up doing was splitting the one bird uh, into two. And because it's going to be split, it's going to be thinner. And gluing it on there was way easier that way. As you can see, I took that bird and I added some hot glue. You could also use some E6000 or some other glue that you might have that might be a little stronger than hot glue. But yeah, that's what I ended up having to do with mine to be able to glue them into place 
I only end up gluing four of the burrs, but you could go with more or less if you like. Okay, now that that is done, I'm going to add the baking soda to my grate paint because I almost forgot to do that, but thank God I remember. Once I am done mixing all of that, we're going to have fun and we're going to start painting our vase. The goal here is to make it look like it's, uh, you know, concrete, a concrete vase instead of a glass vase. So that's why I decided to do this. Now I'm stamping the color onto the burrs because they do have those cuts in them and i want to make sure that all the paint gets in all those little crevices because we're trying to make it look like this is all one piece so go ahead and do that here is what it looks like i only gave it one coat of this mixture of paint and baking soda and that was enough for me but feel free to add more if you think you need it and don't forget the very top edge okay now i end up adding this other paint this is like a lighter gray color it's supposed to be chalk paint i picked up that one from Hobby Lobby and I wanted a little bit more dimension on this face so I used um, this brush from Dollar Tree and I started adding it on there it's just dry brushing on there and I try to focus more on the little birds because I feel like it gave it a better look on them and it popped those little crevices that these birds have and I did it went a little bit heavy on some parts so I just went back to the great paint and you know rub it on there to try to tone that down and you can make it as light or as dark as you need it. Now, this is what mine it looks like, and I love it. Now, I'm going to uh, move on to adding the floral foam in there and some green moss. I didn't glue the floral foam in there. I didn't see the need for that, but if you think you need to glue it, then go ahead and do that. Then I just stuff it with the uh, green moss, and then... All that's left is to have fun and add the greenery on there. I end up using two little picks from Dollar Tree and I cut them individually and then I just started adding them in there as I think I needed them and then that is all for this project now let's take a look at the end result and here it is I love how this little base turned out let me know what you think in the comments down below also don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we have new DIYs every week and I'm sure you'll find one that you like for this project, I'm using this house-like sign, this plaque, some greenery, and I'm also going to use this circle little sign. We'll talk about it here in a little bit. I'm also going to need a wooden dowel. I didn't show it, but we're going to need it and some paint. Now, I'm going to start with the plaque and the wooden dowel and the little circle. Uh, the wooden dowel is not from Dollar Tree, of course, but you're going to need something to hold your base and your home. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, I started painting these um, in the color white. And you'll see here in a little bit, I changed my mind. But we're going to go with it. Just paint them whatever color you want them. Now, I find the middle on both the bottom of my home and the plaque. And then using my drill, I created the holes big enough to, you know, run my wooden dowel through it. Now, here is where I changed my mind. And I I was like i don't want it white anymore so i end up painting the plaque and the wooden dowel in the exact same green color we've been using on our last diys and i was a lot more happier with this and then once that is done we're gonna let it dry and we're gonna set it to the side okay now it's time to put all the pieces together so i'm taking the wooden dowel and i'm going to run it run it through the hole we created on the plaque so you just push it down and if you made it um big enough it's going to fit perfectly you don't need to do anything now the next step is to put the house at the very top of this wooden dowel i did end up um adding some hot glue to make sure it was gonna hold it now for my circle i decided to use my cricut machine and some vinyl to cut the words live life in full bloom to personalize this a little more and this is uh you know spring diy idea so i thought this was a really cute sign and so i just uh rubbed the uh vinyl on there and as you can see i was missing the letter i and the letter u it took me a little bit to realize that i was missing those but i do realize it and i go back in there and i fix it once that is done um we're going to go ahead and glue our little sign onto it and i forgot to mention uh this little sign is from dollar tree and i haven't seen it this year but i'm sure they'll have it and if not you could totally recreate this with i think they have the uh wooden uh circle cutouts now so you could even use one of those if you wanted to or you could even skip this whole part and just add the flowers into it um but yeah those are only a couple of options 
of options i'm sorry i can't speak but in any way as you can see i added some hot glue and then i just added some spanish not spanish i'm sorry some green moss into it to cover up the back of it and then uh once that is done i am going to start adding cute little flowers these flowers are from dollar tree and you could even you know fill it up with just flowers if you wanted to but yeah so here is what i do i cut them individually and then i just add some hot glue and start playing uh around with them and you know adding them wherever i think they look really cute and then once that is done i do end up pulling these other cute roses that i keep using that are from dollar tree and i picked up around uh valentine's season and i had three left in these colors that i thought would go well and so i end up adding those three two are a little bit like orangey color and then one is like a little bit on the pink pink side so i end up adding them and i think it gives them that little pop of something that i was looking for and then this part is obviously optional as well but i took this uh vine it is from dollar tree and i took the brown piece and i wrapped it around and i don't know something about it um that i really liked and i decided to use it but definitely is a step that you could skip if you don't want to do this and all i do is wrap it around whenever it's enough i cut it off and then i just add some hot glue to hold it to to both the bottom and the top and that is all for this project and we made it to the end of this video here is a look at the end result i think this sign turned out super cute let me know in the comments down below which one of these is your favorite diy don't forget to subscribe before you leave give my video a thumbs up turn on your notification bell because it does help my channel a lot thank you thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next diy bye